I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday. I know my kingdom awaits, and they've forgiven my mistake. Okay, well this is where prisoners go under the rock. Wait a minute, I can't sleep under a cold, hard rock. Hey, guess what, kitty pet? You're a little brat who I'm going to end up killing, so you're stuck under that rock. Now get under there! <gasps> what the? Uh, I was so wrong about him. He's such a jerk. Grrr. <sighs> and I barely got to eat any of that frog. I'm still starving. Leader, listen, I have to talk to you. <sighs> what is it? If we let that kitty pet stay here for very long, it'll be one extra mouth to feed. And we have White Cough going around in the camp. This is too dangerous. We have to get rid of her. How does the White Cough affect it? One extra mouth to feed. She will be helping us hunt. I will force her to. And if I just let her go, she would have no idea and she would stay in our territory. But leader, if I hear one more but leader, I'm going to scratch someone's ears off. How is she? Horizon, I told you to stay out of my den. Yes, but I'm your leader, I'm her leader, I'm the leader of this camp, and I'm allowed to visit my sick cats. <sighs> what do you not understand? We can't have you getting sick. If you got sick and you died from White Cough, we would have no leader. What would we do then? You would appoint a new leader, of course. What would you do without a leader? You have to appoint a new leader. Yeah, but if we did that, who would we appoint? Exactly. Have you guys ever thought Thunder? He's a strong cat. Actually, I'm willing to make him my second in command. Not Thunder. He's too strong headed. He would not be a very good leader. And who said you could make decisions? If I wanted to make him second in command, then I could. Um, I'm gonna go make sure our guest has a bed and am not running away, and maybe I'll get her some prey. <sighs> Fine, Horizon. You can see her, but not too long. How is she doing? <coughs> to be honest, she's not doing very good. I'm afraid she might, you know, we might lose her. I'm trying my hardest, but I'm getting exhausted. I don't want to get sick too. What would you guys do without a medicine cat? But I am working really hard. She's getting a little better, but I don't know. <sighs> Hi, Ice, it's me, your leader. <coughs> Horizon, what's gonna happen to me? You're gonna get strong, you're gonna live through this, and you're gonna be the strongest cat here. Really? Of course, I'll make sure of it. You realize you just lied to her face? I'm not lying, Snow. I will make sure she gets better. <laughs> why are you crying? Ah! Oh, it's you, you stupid. Uh, you know why I'm crying? You want to know why I'm crying? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why I asked. I'm crying because I'm starving, bored, cold, and uncomfortable. And you guys do not care at all. Sorry, you pretty face furball. Uh, I can't do anything about that. This is the only place for prisoners... We can feed you prey once we catch some, but we cannot teach you how to catch prey yet, because then you'll think you can leave early, and I'm not sure leader's ready to let you go. <sighs> you guys have no... Actually, we have all right, so get under that rock, stop crying, or you're going to scare away every piece of prey in the forest, and just shut up! I don't have to listen to you, I could yowl and scream my loudest right now. Really, you would do that when there are six cats who could beat you up and there's only one of you. <laughs> I'm not scared. Well, if you're not scared, then you're an idiot. Honestly, you're very ignorant. Nobody likes an ignorant cat. 
Yeah, well, nobody cares what you say.